So, so we're here just after the keynotes here, and who are you? I'm Rashmi Rao, I'm the General Chair for Display Week 2019. So General Chair, what does that mean? Do you take care of everything? General Chair is usually responsible for putting the entire Display Week conference together, not just the symposium, the keynote speakers, the market focus, business focus, investors conference, pretty much the entire conference. So it's been a while uh, to take care of this, like uh, several months of uh, preparations? It's been about a year's worth of work. That's when we, we typically kick off the next Display Week at Display Week. So it's been about a year's worth of work, but I think it's all coming together fabulously. We've had a 10-year high uh, of pretty much participation in every single uh, sub-conference that we plan in Display Week. Uh, so we have a 20% increase in the number of uh, attendees. We so far, right? Maybe there will be more. They can just register on the spot? They can absolutely register on the spot. They can come in, to, they can walk in. We have two more days of outstanding events and a world-class exhibition. So they can come in and walk in and be a part of this. So there was uh, uh, Samsung, uh, Google, and BOE. What do you think about the keynotes? The keynotes were outstanding. They set the stage of what we could expect two to five years from now in the space of displays as well as the direction displays are going. Definitely foldable, rollable displays is a key trend. Uh, we already know that there has been tremendous interest after nearly 10 years in uh, two phone launches from Samsung, the foldable phone as well as Huawei. Uh, Google had an excellent uh, encore to their Google I.O. last week announcing uh, their smart display in-house speaker with the uh, Nest Hub, uh, which Rick uh, Ostello spoke about today, and BOE demonstrated the impact China is going to have on the future of display manufacturing. BOE claimed number one. They are supposed to be number one in quantities or something? So BOE is uh, definitely, the BOE's uh, C, uh, CEO uh, for BOE Group, uh, claim their number one in the manufacturing capacity that they have built over the last several years, as well as the investments that they are making uh, in the future in terms of display R&D. And it was very interesting at the Samsung keynote, he was talking about how the theory of relativity, everything is related to displays. Uh, it was very interesting how the Samsung uh, keynote speaker brought in these pivotal points in technology development and tied it into the display revolution we're seeing. So he spoke about how theory of relativity as well as uh, theory of evolution uh, came into uh, the evolution of displays itself. It was fascinating. Processors are pretty awesome and everything, but they're hidden. Displays, everybody sees them. So you like you working in the industry that's visible to every human being. Absolutely. It's a cool thing to, to work in, right? Absolutely. So one of the one of the best parts of being in the display industry is it is about human experience. And everybody perceives the same displays in very different ways. And so there is not a one size fits all. Even as display engineers, we build and we spec it. It's an experience. It's not just about technology. And uh, that's the most fascinating part about working in the display industry that people touch and feel versus a silicon, uh, a silicon on chip or, or a memory chip or something else, which is more in the background. And uh, uh, SID is a lot of uh, volunteers, right? Uh, you also want to you full-time SID? I am a volunteer, yeah. Yeah, so what do you also do? I can, I can talk about it. Yeah. Um, so I am, uh, you know, SID is an, is an institution that runs on volunteers and thousands of volunteers globally across the world. Uh, I am one such volunteer on my day job. Uh, I actually head a group at Samsung Harman now on their automotive division, Harman, uh, developing advanced technology as well as the early customer engagement. That's a lot of to do with what's in the cars, right? Absolutely, yeah. 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 So uh, wh what I've been working on over the past several years is uh, Harman Samsung is on the next generation, the next frontier, which is autonomous and semi-autonomous cars and how displays have such a huge part to play in not just developing the trust of uh, human beings to trust these robo cars that are going to be driving us around, uh, but also enjoy the experience of being inside of a car.
So I love Uber, Lyft, and everything. When can I order a self-driving? Uh, <laughs> because uh, is it going to work, right? It's pretty it, sure. I mean, you would have the data, right? You would know that it's for sure. It's not just marketing. It's no, happening. No, no, definitely not. Yeah. So uh, I think 25, 2025 will be a pivotal year for uh, semi-autonomous with a lot more advanced features. There are a lot of levels of autonomy that people talk about. Today we already have with Tesla and others level two. What we are looking at is level three, level four, which is even more advanced safety features. And then level five uh, is a little bit beyond 2025, where it's full autonomy, uh, the car just drives itself. I thought Elon Musk said next year. <laughs> he's a, he's not a, quite, not yet. I'm not, not no quite. comments. Okay, cool. And uh, so the exhibition is going to be awesome. I'm really looking forward to it. It's opening in uh, very soon, Yes. less than half an hour. Yeah. And it's going to be even more awesome than last year? Yes, we have the maximum number of space. Yeah, so the exhibition this year is again a record high in terms of square footage and the number of exhibitors. Uh, also, given all of the fascinating things that are happening with AR, 5G, augmented reality, 5G, uh, as well as foldable and flexible rollable displays, this year has poised, is poised to be one of the best exhibitions we have seen in a long it's time. Like, it must be delightful for display industry people to walk around the halls here. It's just it's like the, the best uh, exhibition you can think of yeah. for this industry, right? Yeah, absolutely. So the Display Week exhibition is literally what crores of engineers wait for to, to attend every year. I'm sure they dream about it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they dream about it. It's, it's almost like as if they're dreaming about it and it's like their kids walking in a candy store. Fascinating because we have iZone, which is a uh, you know, really, really early stage uh, next gen, next 10 years technology. We have all the exhibitors that are showing their product. Uh, it's it's just really an exciting and delightful place to be in. And uh, my experience, my understanding, I'm just a blogger, right? Is that sometimes I see amazing things, but they need billions of dollars to make it happen. But the guys who have maybe the billions potentially access to that, they are here in the show. And Correct. they might make decisions or they might you know start to discuss about Okay, how much? Okay, we need to do this and that, and it cost, it cost hundreds of millions or billions, or d then new things happen, right? Yeah, yeah. So one of the things we've started uh, some time back is uh, before, even before iZone, is this investors conference, which is where people that are looking to invest in display space uh, can come in, and we match up the investors with the innovators, and iZone is, uh, is is just a next step where they can actually bring their prototypes, and it's completely free for uh, the iZone, you just have to submit an application, and it's completely free, you get floor space in the best display conference and access and visibility to the investors that can actually make the decisions to invest dollars, serious dollars into technology. The whole industry is going to check you out and check what you're doing, and you're seeing your real demos, real things. And then uh, at the same time, there's also a bunch of other sessions going on. How can people have time to, for everything? So what kind of sessions are happening? The, the, the most challenging part typically with Display Week is that there's so many parallel sessions that are happening. You really have to plan around being here and being uh, planning on what you want to do. There is the symposium technical sessions, which is very deep technical. Uh, innovations, there is the exhibition, the iZone. We also have the business conference, which is more the business of displays. And also, a couple of years, we've started the market focus, which focuses very, very specifically on the emerging uh, tech. So this year, we have automotive and foldable and rollable. Uh, so there's a lot to do, so you really need to plan your time at, at, at Display Week. So what can people learn about micro LEDs at this show? Because it's one of the things too, special right? Special topics, yeah. So one of the uh, special topics this year is micro LEDs, which is one of the hottest topics in, in, of research and uh, investments in the display industry right now. And this is the place to be. We have the experts that have come in from across the globe uh, educating on micro LEDs, but also demonstrating their products. And the uh, thing about SID Display Week is always in the USA. So it's kind of like a USA thing, right? No, not really. I mean, every people coming from all over the world, but Correct. it happens here. Here, yeah, yeah. Well, it, so Display Week gives gives an opportunity for people all over the world to actually come. And for the last several years, we have been focused in the Silicon Valley, heart of heart of Silicon Valley, 
and you, you can come from across the globe. We have about 47 countries, people from 47 countries that have come in uh, to participate in Display Week in the heart of Silicon Valley. So it's about maybe 10,000 people around, yeah. and uh, they're all the top industry insiders of the display industry. Yeah, so we have, Display Week brings together about 10,000 people typically with the top minds and the investors and also the movers and shakers of the display industry. Cool, all right. Really looking forward to check it all out. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.